Hey everyone, this is Angel from Apex Gaming with a brand new video for Returnal. And welcome to the last stop in Atropos, the Abyssal Scar. Here I'm going to show you all the hostiles and fun that you will find in the 6th biome and how you can counter each and every one of them so you have a better chance to survive. If you need them, there are timestamps in the description of the video and you to play here as well for each enemy. Let's start with our first couple of enemies, the Animos and the Abyssal Trichosoid. I'm showing them together because the Abyssal Trichosoid is the one that spawns the Animos. In fact, staying close to the spawn point is a great way to farm for XP to upgrade your weapons or boost your adrenaline levels. The Animos are these squid-like creatures who only have a single attack, they will glow red and then launch towards you, easily avoidable by jumping or dashing. For the Abyssal Trichosoid, there is no explanation needed, just hit it with a melee attack and you're done. Next we have the Abyssal Machina, which is a slightly more powerful version of the machine from Biomes 3 and 5. If you let it attack, it will do a small barrage of bullets that you can easily avoid, but the tricky part is if you attack it. Each time a bullet hits the Abyssal Machina, it will release a set of rings that even if they are easy to avoid, can become a little bit messy if you shoot over and over. Just keep an eye on them and jump or dodge as needed. If it gets too crowded, stop shooting for a bit to reset the whole thing. Up next comes the Absol Acronact, another pretty simple enemy. It has three different attacks. The first one is a triple laser that you can easily wait to evade once you see it come towards you. The second attack is a bullet tunnel where you don't need to do anything but stand still in the middle. The third and most dangerous is a group of arrows that will follow you and if they touch you, you will get a malfunction. Be very careful with this one because multiple hits will trigger multiple malfunctions or even destroy any active artifacts. Just keep running but don't lose sight of the arrows so you don't get hit by surprise. Now let's get to the serious threat in the biome, the Typhon Ops. This big guy is pretty intimidating as he has three basic attacks. The first one is a group of red arrows that can induce malfunctions. Just watch their trajectory and dash away or run before they hit, but always keep an eye for them. The second attack, and perhaps the trickiest one, is the claw, where it will thrust towards you. The key to avoiding this is to remember that you are underwater, so it is not doing an immediate thrust as its biome 1 and 4 lookalikes. It goes up and then down to perform the attack. Take a close look at his left claw for a better chance to know when you can avoid it. Finally, the third attack, the Red Ball Barrage, which is perhaps the most difficult to evade because the hint is so difficult to perceive, especially if you're shooting against it. His head will glow red and then launch a straight line of bullets that you can avoid after you see the red glow. And finally, the Malformed Typhon Ops, which is one of the last enemies you will fight before facing the final boss, and oh boy, this can be a very terrible headache for most of us. The best advice that I can give you against these guys is just to go all in, using every single consumable outfire option available to you. In this biome, I found this to be my weapon of choice because it lets me shoot and hide behind cover without too much of a risk. But if you have another option, be sure to share it in the comment section down below. And those are all the enemies that you will find in Biome 6 in Returnal. Don't forget to check out the Returnal playlist right here for more useful guides. But for now, I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching and keep enjoying the game.